right. So uh, a couple months ago, I did a uh, a cards aren't what you think video, and it was a a pretty big hit. So I've dug up some some more cards that aren't what you think. So this is a part two. Starting off with the 1957 Topps Mickey Mantle card. Now, sometimes you'll you're, you'll hear this card referred to as the Ghost of Babe Ruth. And that's because if you look hard enough uh, towards the right of Mickey Mantle, you see a, a ghost-like figure walking, and it's actually a, a airbrushed um, man, and it was a supposedly a mechanic. And you can see this the circle image of, of, of this this mechanic. Uh, the mechanic apparently walked into into frame when when the when the stage um, shot was happening, and they had to airbrush him out. And of course, back in the fifties, airbrushing was no nowhere near as advanced as photoshopping today. And so you can still see, you know, the the shadow like ghost like effect of the mechanic in the background. There's also just there's various degrees of this airbrushing. I don't think it was necessarily like they were trying different versions of the airbrushing. I think it's more just how much ink was on the card. Um, if you want to look at the one on the right, the mid nine card, you can barely see the ghost like image, but I think that's because they were just, it was early in the print run and there was more ink on the card. So it, it hid that, that running mechanic a little bit better, but I don't know. Some believe it might also be just, could it be tops attempt at, at, at getting better and better at, at the airbrushing with each new print. But either way, it's a cool little hidden image in this iconic Mickey Mantle card. And uh, it, once you see it, you really can't unsee it every time you see this card. And then we have the 1922 American Caramel Babe Ruth holding ball. So this holding ball image is, is pretty popular. Um, he has two other cards from 1922, E121. He has a, a montage image and a uh, holding a, a pigeon, which I'll talk about later. And then there's this ball image. And this ball image is, is kind of the most popular, uh, I think, image from 1922. In 1921, he has he has a great image of him um, throwing. But anyways, what, what people don't realize about this card, and I always thought it was kind of confusing to me, like, why is he holding this ball? And he looks kind of, his facial expressions looks a little confused. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, wouldn't he be happy? Like, is this a home run ball that he's holding? Is, it, is he autographing a ball? But as it turns out, he was holding this ball that was attached to a fishing pole for some kind of publicity stunt, either before the game or in the middle of the game or after the game. We don't know. And I don't know the context behind this fishing pole. I'm assuming the, you know, the, the, the ball was attached to the line and then maybe Babe Ruth tried to hit the ball on the, on the fishing pole. I mean, who knows, but it does explain why on this card, he has this kind of look of like, what the heck is happening here? Which is completely kind of changes the, the card to me when I look at it now, it's, it's, it's because it's, there's a, there's more to the story than just him holding the ball. Um, like I mentioned before, another rather the strangest card from the set is, is an image of Babe Ruth holding a bird, a carrier pigeon, actually. It's just odd to me that American Caramel chose this photo because back in 1922, I mean, Babe Ruth was everywhere. There was lots of photos of him, but for whatever reason they, they chose this image, but why he's actually holding and carrying pigeon is, is, a, is a pretty interesting story. Uh, this photo was taken on September 26, 1921. And back then, carrier pigeons were the fastest way to update fans on the east side of New York uh, about the Yankee games happening at the Polo Grounds. But just six, week, six weeks earlier, the first Major League broadcast game happened from a Pittsburgh radio station. So six weeks prior to this, you could you could actually hear sports through the radio so i mean very soon after this photo was taken um these carrier pigeons became com completely obsolete due to the invention of radio um, and just a, just a year later after this photo was taken uh, the world series was actually heard on the on the radio so definitely like a uh, a, a small moment in time where these carrier pigeons were, were used to relay information uh, around new york and it just so happened that they Stage this photo with with Babe Ruth, probably merely months away from from being completely obsolete. And then the 1956 Topps Hank Aaron card. Now, if you look closely enough, the action pose of this player sliding is not Hank Aaron; it's Willie Mays. Um, I couldn't find the the actual image of Willie Mays sliding, but if, if 
it's definitely his 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 facial features and his his broad shoulders. And then we have this is kind of a a dark one. The 1966 top stick Ellsworth. So what makes this card um, not what it seems, this is not Dick Ellsworth. Now, this is not an unheard thing for tops to, to mistake players and put the wrong image on, on, a, on, a, uh, on a player's card. But what makes this particularly weird is the fact that this is not Dick Ellis. It's actually Ken Hobbs. And Ken Hobbs had, had died, actually, two years prior when this when this 66 top set came out. And this is an image of Ken Hobbs on the right in 1963. Uh, he died in a plane crash in 1964 at just 22 years old. And he was he was not a nobody. He was he won rookie of, of the year. He was a great, really great fielder. He was the first rookie to win a gold glove. He, he played second base. And many people thought he was on his way of, of being a Hall of Famer. So yeah, this this Dick Ellsworth card from 1966 tops is actually Ken Hobbs. And Ken Hobbs was dead for two years when this set came out. So I'm sure that disturbed the Hobbs family when this set was released. And that's it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'm curious your thoughts. What are some other cards that aren't what you think? Um, here's an example. This is the I mentioned this card a long time ago, like 10 years ago when I, one of my first videos, but this is a 69 tops Aurelio Rodriguez card. And it's actually not uh, Rodriguez. It's the angels bat boy, Leonard Garcia, who I guess kind of looked like Rodriguez, but they apparently couldn't find Rodriguez during the photo shoot. So they use this bat boy instead. That's it. Yeah. Curious to know if there's any other cards worth calling out for uh, future videos. Thank you.